I'm Anthony Gucciardi, and last Tuesday, myself and Alex Jones delivered an exclusive report on super high-level military intelligence that revealed to us there was a Black Ops-style, unsigned nuclear warhead transfer going on from Dias Air Force Base in Texas to South Carolina. That's all we were told. This is a credible source. We were very concerned. Yesterday night, we got a news tip through the news tip option on our websites that Lindsey Graham had come out and said that if we don't attack Syria, he expects, he fears, and he warns that a nuclear attack could be carried out in South Carolina through some type of boat or something like that. That immediately, when I read that, my heart was pounding. We came out with this news. We are actually a little scared. This is the most important thing we may have covered in recent years. And Lindsey Graham is now warning of this nuclear attack. What I'm going to do today is I already called Dias Air Force Base. They gave me the runaround, told me to call back, told me they were going to call me back as soon as they could. They never called me back. We're going to call not only Dias Air Force Base and set the record straight, we're going to contact Lindsey Graham in his office, and we are going to ask for answers immediately. We're looking at a potential uh, nuclear attack in the United States, potentially carried out by the U.S. government or elements of the rogue government inside the U.S. government, taking these nuclear weapons or whoever took them from Texas, delivering them to South Carolina. This is an exclusive, a massive bombshell report. We're going to call them right now. Public Affairs, Captain Gillibo. Hey, how's it going? My name's Anthony Gucciardi. I just wanted to ask you a couple questions if you have the time. Sure, what's going on? Great, cool. So, um, well, a couple days ago on Tuesday, we received intelligence reports and a bunch of stuff we found also coinciding with people in the Dias area that there was some type of transfer going on to South Carolina from your Air Force base. Do you know anything about that? Um, what we'll have to do here is you'll have to just let me know all of your questions, and I'm going to have to look into them, and I'm going to have to get back to you. <clears throat> well, so you want to know about some uh, weapons transfers? Well, actually, I never said anything about weapons. Um, are you aware of a weapons transfer that must have gone on then? I'm just, I won't, let me clarify your questions, and then I'll get them down, and we will have to get back to you. Well, I'm just wondering if there was a transfer. I didn't say anything about weapons, but was there a weapons transfer going on? It seems to indicate that you were saying there was a weapons transfer of some kind. Let me just, let me just give you a little bit about my intelligence on this subject. We know from high-level military sources that we're not going to talk about that there was indeed a nuclear warhead transfer from Dias Air Force Base. And then we do know on that same day, after we got this intelligence, that Lindsey Graham came out and said in a speech that if we don't attack Syria, there could be a nuclear attack in South Carolina, Charleston. And I also happen to know, I also happen to know that the Dias nuclear warheads were being transferred to South Carolina. Is there a question there, Anthony? I am wondering was there a transfer of any type of weapons as you seem to have indicated on this is a serious this is a serious thing if there are nuclear warheads coming from Dias Air Force Base to South Carolina and then Lindsey Graham comes out and says if we don't attack Syria then terrorists are going to blow up South Carolina Charleston it's a big deal I, I actually originally called you on Tuesday and it was kinda just a little funny thing like you know I know you wouldn't tell me anything but this is actually a serious thing we're talking about a nuclear issue here Okay. Well, uh, like I said before, if you just give me your questions and that's I that's my question. Was there a nuclear? Was there a transfer of any kind? I asked if there was a transfer. You seem to acknowledge okay. that there might have been a weapons transfer. Was there a weapons transfer of any kind going on you, to South Carolina? Do you have a number or an email that I can uh, get back with? Well, you? you have my number. I called you before. You said you would call me back in a timely manner, and there was no call back. And I don't think you're ever going to call me back. Okay. Oh. I think that was somebody else in my office, and I don't believe you left a number with them. Well, we left the number. We left the okay. number. Okay. So will you please give it to me again? Sure. We'll give you a number. So when are you guys going to give me a call back with some answers? Um, we can probably get back to you by the end of the day. And you are just looking for the question that I have right now. Was there a transfer? Was there a transfer of any kind to South Carolina? Mm -hmm. Second question, does Dias Air Force Base admittedly have nuclear weapons? Third question, are you aware of the fact that Lindsey Graham said there might be a nuclear attack in South Carolina? Fourth question, if there was a transfer, I'm where sorry, was I'm it going sorry. to? Hold on. Can you please slow down? Sure. Uh, I, the one I left off was, does Dias have nukes? And what was the question after that? Was the transfer going to South Carolina? 
Okay. And are you or any of your higher ups concerned whatsoever <clears throat> that Lindsey Graham says there might be a nuclear strike on South Carolina based on the intel that Dias Air Force was transporting nuclear warheads to South Carolina just hours before he came out and said that? Yeah, we'd really appreciate you calling us back today. And uh, please, as soon as you physically can do so, please give us a call back. Okay, we will look into the answers and we will get back with you. Do you have an email address that works? Anthony at Infowars.com. I just want to ask you one question on a personal basis. Does it trouble you that there is intel of nuclear warheads coming from Dias hours before Lindsey Graham says that there could be a nuclear strike from terrorists in South Carolina if we don't go to war with Syria? Does that trouble you? Again, Anthony, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to get back with you on these answers. Okay. Well, we'll talk with you later today. We'll be expecting the call. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Well, there it is. This woman, I think it's exactly the same woman I spoke to last Tuesday. No answers. They say they'll call us back. I don't know if they will. If they do, we will have it here on video in another special report, and we'll, we'll see what they say to those questions. Of course, they're probably going to say, no, we don't have nukes. There was no transfer. You're crazy. And no, we don't even know what Lindsey Graham's talking about. We never heard about that. But I will try the best I can to pry some information from what they tell us and get to the bottom of the issue and seek truth in news. I'm Anthony Gucciardi. Everyone needs to look at this. Everyone needs to look at these reports. We do know what's going on. The intel is right. This guy's been right time and time again. And it would be one thing if the intel was there, but the other entire thing that turns us into an insane explosion of information is that Lindsey Graham came out just hours later and said that there could be a nuclear attack on South Carolina if we do not go to war with Syria. I'm Anthony Gucciardi. I'll be joining you soon again with another call.